I heard through the grapevine, my boys told me he used to annoy Kobe a lot. What's up, champ? Hi, Hi sir. Is he? Paul, man. Paul, nice pleasure, man. You, pleasure, pleasure. Good, very well. You retired now? Huh? You retired, yeah, retired now. now. Yeah, because he was telling me with my guy, Jeff, who was so saying he used to give Kobe fits. Yeah, I used to give Kobe <laughs> fits. <laughs> Make him annoyed. Yeah, he's a guy that's probably got a chip on his shoulder as well. I, yeah. took one, I took one out of his hands. Oh, real? Yeah, he would have had um, six of them, but I had to take you're one. You're like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the UFC, and, uh, you know, I respect what they do every time they step into the ring. Izzy he puts it all out on the line every time he steps into the ring, man. I got a lot of respect for these fighters. I'm happy for the fact that we're down here in Australia, in Melbourne, at the same time that we can cross paths. Uh, I have a lot of respect for what he does. You train at all? Like a little bit, a little bit of something, a little, little bit something. To, to, Get some work. <laughs> Looking good, man. And I got a gift for you, my man, right here. This oh, is yeah. the Reebok official UFC 243 oh, walkout bro. tee. Sweet. That guy, is, hey, I like I gotta, his, the artist, man. He's the man. I got to get you to sign this man, thing, man. I'll sign it. I'll get it done. Israel, he shows all the characteristics of a great champion. You know, his heart, his work ethic. And I think he's going to win by knockout. Bro, oh, one of my jerseys. Oh, yo. Hey, that's dope. Already signed as well? My first ever basketball game I was at, Staples Center. I watched the Celtics play against the Lakers. And man, it's not like it is on TV. Same thing with the UFC. It's a different vibe when you're there live. Yeah, Without a doubt. Man. And this is going to be lit, man. I can't wait. Hey, man, you're a legend, bro. Straight up. Uh, you're a legend. Me? Not yet. One day. One day. <laughs> you did. You did. One day. Did. We're almost there. Uh, we're here up at uh, Legends MMA. Uh, just dropping this last bit away. It's a cruisy week. Just cleaning up on, on what, I, what I didn't do last fight. Just fixing up on my mistakes. <laughs> I, I look at every fight the same, you know. Just, just bettering myself. I don't really care what he's going to do or what he's going to bring. Just as long as I bring my best game, I, I think that I should, uh, should end up on top. Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> so just fighting in Australia means a lot to me. As, as most people know, I've had most of my fights in Australia. So, But Melbourne, uh, we're going to have the biggest crowd. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just keen to put on a show for my country. Yeah, I've definitely had you know two or three on the card before, but um, not with this match at stake. Obviously, you got the title. We got uh, Dan, who's pushing for the top top spot amongst those lightweights, and then I got Red, who's uh, who we're touting as a prospect you can go all the way to. February, when I fought Anderson Silva, we had myself, Kai, and Shane Young. We did it last time in Melbourne. Three peat. We're gonna repeat the three peat. Yeah, it makes it all pretty easy having Israel, having Brad here, all working out together, all going through the exact same thing. So it's been a real team-based training camp. I think the pressure's still the same. It's just that we're just really good at dealing with it. But I think that ultimately that's what it's about. As a team, we collectively feel pressure and we collectively deal with it. And that makes it way easy for us to deal with because we all feel the pressure and we all deal with it together. So it's not any one individual's responsibility to deal with it. I mean, that, that's ultimately what the best teams in the world do. And, and the country, the country is, uh, it's an underdog country. It's a country that's built around succeeding when, uh, when you're in a uh, David versus Goliath type scenario. Like we're used to coming to the fore in those sort of positions. And we just had that sort of attitude where we're the small people from the you know, the favorite space on the earth, but we just strive to do well amongst all these giants. Bro, there's so many things, so many things I've done, not out of, out of fighting, that I just, I've, I've willed into existence, and it's part of it. I and mean, when, you're, when you're the, the guy like me that's just kind of come up real fast, out of nowhere, doing things that they can't even fathom, then they're gonna make excuses. It's what happens with success. You always get people who want to say, oh, 
But you can't just our success. It's getting a little more serious with the fight week starting. Seeing all the fighters come together, it's feeling more like a uh, regular fight week. Oh, there he is. What's up? Henry, how are you? Everything. What's up, man? How are you? What's up, man? How's everything? Good to see you. I got an easy signature, just two letters. Train later with Al, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You train with us at back home in Hawaii. Yeah, nice. Um, gotta come check it out when we're back on I'm actually, I'm going to, I think I'm going to Maui right after this. Over there. Where, where are you guys? We're in Oahu. In Oahu, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, definitely, I'd love to get out there. And really, what you need, carbohydrates and protein. So it's one you're doing just a little bit of fiber at that point, you just want as much energy in your system as you Each morning, uh, we'll have food to, to provide you uh, for the day's nourishment. We'll get a weight, we'll just kind of problem solve and make sure that everything is trending in, in the most positive way. Are you taking any Man, that makes it so much easier, you know. One less thing you got to worry about, you know. Before, we had to run out to the groceries, get all this stuff. I actually got my stove in my backpack. I got some got pans, some hot pans. I got oil. I got seasonings. got everything, you know. So that's what I'm used to. And I'm you know, making my life easier, you know. <laughs> I'm scared. All right, so we should be all good, Diego. I'm excited for mm -hmm. fight week. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Ooh, I wanna, let me guess. Not a necklace? What is this? Oh no, oh shit, it matches it. I'm scared. <laughs> it fits. I do. Not jokes. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, that's sick. I finally have a ring. Look at that. Inscribed as well on the side. Yeah. That's a good guess, though. Right now, the hard part. It's coming slowly. <coughs> I'll do it. Fuck off. There <laughs> 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 <Here> you go. Hi, <laughs> buddy. You good? How you doing? Yeah, good, my man. How are you? The champ champ is in the house. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, bro. Right, right. Champ champ is not enough, huh? You think all these videos and all these stunts that they're pulling, I want to be called Chan Chan? <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing you, Chan. How was Good seeing you, mate. Yes. Well, uh, there are certain fighters all around, and I just have a gut feeling I'm going to have to end up fighting them. You know, I felt that with Gaslam, I felt that with Brunson, and that's only two now. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, I think it's an exciting fight. I can see it being the biggest fight ever, especially for this part of the world. I'm very excited for the amount of spotlight that's going to put on not only the sport but especially the athletes, and uh, yeah, because it, it was it was much harder to, to to live in this sport when when I was coming through, you know, and harder for the pioneers before me. So uh, I'm very happy that we, you know, we we've broken into the mainstream sporting uh, sporting spotlight, and you know, we're here to stay.